Well, I'll be. I know it's dark, but that's forest right there. Hi, forest. Hi, forest. Yeah, my sprinkler got me. Hi, forest. Hi, buddy. Hi, forest. How you doing, pal? How you doing, forest? You looking good. I know y'all can see him. You can see his eyes shining a little bit now. That's forced. Ah! That gum, that water got me good then. Man. That's forced right there. Hi, buddy. Hi, Forrest. You want me to go get you something to eat? Hi, pal. Well, it looks like the, uh, it looks like the, hi, Forrest. Hi, buddy. Let's get you something to eat out of here. Let's get you something to eat. Come here. I want to really look at your back leg there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is terrible. That is terrible, guys. Looky here what we got for you. Yeah. Looky here, Forrest. Looky there, buddy. You can eat right out of that. Looky there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my boy. Don't you be running off. You stay right around here. He's walking pretty good, actually. I don't know how that injury's going to be, but he's looking good. That uh, one uh, hairband that had got somehow got around his waist, and I got it cut while I was feeding him carrots today, so he does not have that. But, uh, he's eating good. I might go get him some carrots and bring that here to him or an apple or something. Oh, he sees Beamer over there. Is that all you want, buddy? Huh? Is that all you want? Huh? You still don't feel real good, do you, pal? Hmm? You don't feel real good, do you, pal? Yeah. And there you go. I'm gonna go get you a carrot, okay? Yeah, that's all right. He's worried about somebody coming around here and jumping on him. He's still really traumatized. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. That's it. gets getting here, Forrest. Here, it's all right. There you go, buddy. There you go. <laughs> there you go, pal. There you go. Let me get that lid back on. <laughs> Raining down in my feet. Rained all over my back. <laughs> It's all worth it to see my boy Forrest up here, though. Yeah, hi, guy. I can't really tell. Both legs are really kind of messed up back there. Can't really tell how, how badly. I wish I could see him a little bit better. You can see there that he's just not putting a lot of weight on that one. He's got some of the hair messed up back there. Oh, that's okay, buddy. You hear him kind of having a hard time breathing? It looks like maybe he has lost a little bit of weight. It's hard to tell with him laying down. I think I'm gonna go in there and get him an apple and bring it out here and give it to him. Good boy, Forrest. Yeah. Well, I went up and cut, cut up an apple and he left. And he didn't eat all the food. He's a pretty sick boy still. Where are you, Forrest? Shine my light out there. All I got is my Light on my iPhone. Shine that out a little bit and see if I can maybe see an eye shining somewhere and walk out to him. There's no telling where he went. I wish he would stay here at the house. I would like to be able to coax him into one of the pens there with the, maybe with the babies or something. He wouldn't mess with those babies at all. I don't know if he would follow me over there for a apple or not, he might. That doesn't matter, I don't see him anywhere. I'll go get my spotlight. Well, I can look around, maybe I can walk up to him and give him some apples. What a beautiful evening. The, uh, we still haven't got any rain. We are forecast rain this evening, but it's raining right now out there by those three deer. <laughs> we have our sprinkler system fixed, and if you'll notice, it's made a huge difference in the yard. Uh, it's a nice little buck out there. Another nice little buck and another nice little buck. Just real pretty little guys. All of those bucks are 
That's their first or maybe second horns on all of them. Uh, we've been at the football game today watching Oklahoma score 52 points and beat Kansas 52 to 42. A lot of offense in college football today. Uh, Tennessee and Alabama both uh, uh, way up there, I think 52 to 49 or something like that. Oklahoma State and TCU way up there in points. A lot of offense in college football today. And Oklahoma got their quarterback back today, and it made a huge difference, obviously, in our game. Our defense uh, still gave up a lot of points, but we outscored Kansas, and that was uh, important. Kansas lost their first game last week to, uh, I think, TCU, and then TCU beat Oklahoma State today in overtime. So uh, I guess TCU and Kansas State are the only two undefeated teams left in the Big 12. Who would have thought six or seven games into the season that TCU and Kansas State would be the undefeated teams? Everybody seems to be about the same this year in the Big 12. Oklahoma seems to be one of the poor teams, but it looks like we can beat anybody. And uh, the grass is green in many places in Jimmy's yard, and the bass are loving it. A lot of places did not come back. It just got so dry when that sprinkler wasn't working. But what a beautiful day. We have rain forecast for tonight. Every cloud has a silver lining. And there's that silver lining right there. Ain't God good. Well, 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 I walked off out there and there is my boy Forrest. There is my boy Forrest over there licking on a mineral lick. I've got to take my boy Forrest for some carrots. I've just got to do it. Oh my goodness, that is so exciting. Well, this is two days in a row he's come to the house. He's looking much better. I've got to go out there and take a look at him. This is, uh, with all the bad luck we've had and the sadness that we've had in our dear her, this is fantastic. And there's his daddy, Forrest, over there. I mean, uh, TC, Thundercloud. Thundercloud is such a huge deer, it's amazing. And he doesn't seem to be paying a whole lot of attention to Forrest. Forrest is over there eating. He's not messing with him at all. And that's good. It might have been somebody other than thundercloud that hurt force but i'm going to grab some carrots real quick and get out there before he leaves hey forrest hey forrest what are you doing we might be able to get a look at that wound a little bit let's see how he walks it's actually walking pretty good you can tell that that the port leg there on as i'm looking at him to the right his left you can see that it's just scraped up really something terrible he has lost quite a bit of weight. There's absolutely no doubt about that. He probably went quite a while without eating. Got a tick or something on you there, boy. He's trying to get that tick off. Make up the tick. Both legs are hurt. He cut the tick off. Both legs, I think, are hurt. Somebody said wonder, that they wonder if he was jumping over something. I wonder if maybe he might have jumped over something and got caught in it. There's no cross fences on the whole ranch so Ugh, back off towards the east when you go down into that draw there's an old fence yeah, look at all the deer running here look at all the deer coming up look at all of them that deer went out there to here's they wonder for something down there causing them all to run they all run up here the sprinklers are going off oh that well the sprinklers have been going off though that but i mean was, they may have switched yeah to where might, they were switched to another one here at Ford's and he just, boy, he is starving. He is eating like crazy. I'm gonna I'm sorry, go ahead baby. and I'll stay back. I'll just Sherry, she's okay. That's all right. I Come on, you're fine. Here, I'll, you turn around this way a little bit. Don't wait. It's, maybe she can look. It's, 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 he's. Uh, I think he got hung on something. He very likely might have gotten hung on a fence. And then also, of course, I didn't notice. Of course, if somebody tried to gore him from the back. Well, that's what we thought was a horn from the back. With both legs being injured, he's really worried about you. Come here, buddy. Come here. Both legs are tore up really, really badly. They look like they're, they're dry, though. They look like they're dry and not... Uh... You need to fatten up, buddy. You have lost an awful lot of weight. I wonder if I can get you over there in a... Bella, in, get in the house. Go. Oh, I see. Bella come out. Mm -hmm. Weather. That made all the deer nervous. One, two, three, four, five, six deer. 
Big bucks, I mean. And little Molly, little Molly and all her boyfriends. Little Molly's the most popular girl in the world. I had about a pound of carrots right here, and he's eating almost the whole pound. Well, he will have eaten the whole pound here in just a minute when I get through with him. But uh, and I'm thinking I'm gonna go over there and dump out some more food and we'll dump some. So it's might probably not fighting at all. It's caused him to have this problem. They're all hoping you'll do out some food. Yeah, well, I'm gonna put some more food. Come on, baby. Come on over here. Golly. There's great something awful on both sides. See, I, you know, I bet he has been caught in a fence or something that he jumped. Now, I, there's, I, I don't think it's a, I, that's just not an injury from fighting at all. Now he has really not been eating like this. You see, he just he's like, feeling a lot better. Really, really eating. Oh, he's feeling so much better. <laughs> look at look at Molly there. Molly's gonna come up and just eat what's dropping out. There's the rest of y'all. I bet he got on that old fence. Yeah, Molly. That little stretch of old Watch fence. Molly. Watch Molly. Look at Molly. Molly's gonna. Molly, that's <laughs> gonna qualify as eating out of my hands, there, baby. <laughs> I bet he got caught on an old fence or something too. I bet because it, his. I look at his back leg, and it looks like he's maybe been caught, and he might have had something caught besides his legs. There, it looks like. <laughs> It's like his manhood's hanging a little bit there. But he is feeling so much better. He might not be a breeder buck anymore. No, he might not be a breeder buck anymore. You're right. Look at Molly. <laughs> Molly, you're so sweet, girl. Yeah, you are. You're my little baby. You're my little baby. There you go. Come here, Molly. Come here. Come here, Molly. Come here for us. Oh, Forrest is going to get mean now. He's running that guy off. Come here, Forrest. Forrest. Be nice. I don't know what your PC is. It's so good to see him back up here, though. And I think all of that's healing. And I don't know if the hair will grow back over that or not, really. Oh. He's so cute. What's that one's name? big one? No, the little baby right here in front. Lucky 13. Little buck? Yeah. TC. TC, you're being a bully. TC, quit being so ugly. South fresh, south fresh, get your fresh south fresh. <laughs> get your fresh south fresh right here. Yeah. How long course she's gonna hang around? We might get a couple of uh, apples and we'll go cut a couple apples up. And I'll go cut a couple apples up. I'll give him. I'll give him some apples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Forrest has come home to roost for a while, anyway. And I, that's. I'm. I think I was totally 100% wrong about that injury. I believe he has got hung up somewhere. There is a place or two where there's a cross fence. That, uh, this old cross fence. Really, really old, and there's not much. And he very definitely could have got in there. And sometimes when you a deer jumps over, I heard a turkey gobble. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but when a deer he jumps the fence, a lot of times you hit the wire, and the other wire will come around and he'll trap their legs in two. I've, I've released several does and fawns that way, and I've, I've found deer hung in the fence that way where they were dead. They simply starved to death and run out of water, and they, they died of, of hunger and die of thirst. It's a terrible way for a deer to die, and that's likely that might have been what happened to him. And you can see now he's eating good. And last night, uh, I think it was last night when he came up here before I found him around the house, he was uh, coughing a little bit. He's quit that coughing. He's got very aggressive on the eating. And uh, I don't know what it's going to take the hair will grow back or not, but I suppose, suppose. Well, yeah, Lucy had a scrape patch that never grew hair back. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, it may not grow back, but uh, Forrest is the one bright, 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 bright spot in this week of a lot of tragedy here on the Eagle. Hi, Forrest. Hi, Forrest. Hi, buddy. How are you doing, Forrest? How's Forrest? How's Forrest, huh? How you doing?
Hang on there, Forrest. Let me throw a few carrots down. You want a few carrots, huh? Oh, lid shut on it. Hang on. I got them. Yeah, I got them. Got them, Forrest. I lay my phone down. You smell them, don't you? If I can get this open. <laughs> if I can get that open. Oh, he's standing up on his hind legs. He was standing up on his hind legs there. Looking up this way. <laughs> there he is right there. I'm sorry about all the horrible camera work there for a few seconds. I just laid the phone down here on the deck. I saw Force out there feeding in the grass. So I went in and got some carrots. Got a really super powerful spotlight here. Of course, he, he came up when I started talking to him. He came up by the deck and is uh, feeding on all the carrots. Didn't have too many there, probably a quarter of a pound is all. I might walk in there and get a little bit more stuff and throw out here to him. He's garfing those carrots up real good. He needs something easy to eat that he can eat a lot of and try to gain some of that weight back. You can see he's looking pretty thin there. He's still a big, beautiful deer. I think I only see one carrot back behind you that you missed. Oh, there's one right there. There's another one right there. Look at that one, big boy. He said, I don't have to look. I'll find it with my nose. I don't know if we could ever get some ointment on that bad spot or not. I think uh, there's another one right out there for us. I see one more out there, buddy. You can look there at the back of it. Tell when he moves. He must have been caught for... He was gone for four or five days. He must have been caught in that fence or whatever it was for four or five days and fought and struggled and got out. And it's just... Look, look at how bad that is. Both sides. It's both legs, not just one. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if I'm following that very well. Just absolutely horrible. Well, anyway. You can see how strong and powerful my light is. Look down at the dock. Got my blue lights on my dock. <laughs> Whoa, that's kind of spooky, isn't it? That is kind of spooky right there. <laughs> Looks like something out of a Halloween movie or something. Um, well, I don't know. I just, just uh, I thought, like I told you, we'd try to get as much video as for us as we could. I've looked for him. I haven't seen him all day today. It's the first time I've seen him. And it's uh, about almost one o'clock here right now. And I just happened to, I come out here and shine a little bit every now and then around and see what's out here. And I shine and sure enough, there's for us out there. And so uh, got to take a look at him. Uh, I'm going to go uh, take an apple and see where he walked around front and see if maybe I can give him an apple. So uh, y'all, uh, y'all have a good day tomorrow. Remember, I love you. Well, I uh, got some food out here. I came out here and called for him. And there's another deer off out there. I come out here and called for him, rattled around here. I knew that he could hear that from pretty good ways off. And uh, I got a scoop of food out, dumped it down there. And he came up behind me, <laughs> and he was like right behind me immediately. One eye looks like it's, no, it's not closed. Uh, that other deer was slipping up there. Got an apple here. Can I try to cut that apple with one hand? Good way to cut your finger off. <laughs> no way to lay the phone down or anything. Definitely a one-man band right here, right now. You can smell that apple. He knows what that apple is. Little coyotes out there.